Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and today we have another LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens video for you. This one happens to be Level 9, Destroy Star Killer Base Free Play. And with a quick glance over to the right-hand side, you can see that we are going to reach that true Jedi requirement. We're also going to get all 10 mini kits and round up a red brick and get rewarded with a couple of character tokens, or excuse me, vehicle tokens for getting those mini kits. So, whoopsie, I'm off to a bad start already. Hopefully, I'll get it together here. And speaking of here, we are on the Millennium Falcon, and we are ready to choose the Star Killer base from our galaxy map. And of course, Chapter 9, Destroy Star Killer Base. Now, I have a little confession to make. This uh, level and the next level, I had to play more than a handful of times due to user error on a few occasions and um, kind of a game error on a couple occasions too. So let me give you a little tip. If you have not already grabbed this first mini kit coming up here in the trench, I highly suggest using Poe's X-Wing. Now, you know me, I'm a huge Millennium Falcon fan and I love flying the Falcon as much as I can, but I had a weird issue where I couldn't really get the Falcon down in the right spot. It kept bumping me out of the way. So here it comes in the trench. Booyaka Shao, that is a tough one. And the good news is, is it's right at the beginning, so if you do miss it, you can play the whole level if you like, and then replay the beginning of it, or you can just restart the level again and keep playing it until you get it. Now. Hey, you can prove me wrong, use the Falcon, get it, whatever the case may be, but we found it easier to use Poe's X-Wing. So hopefully that'll help you with that one. And moving right along now, here you can see we have uh, started to invade the top of the Starkiller base. And we're going to keep it with the old X-Wing because, again, it's a little bit more um, maneuverable, I guess you'd say. Now, okay, there is a goal here of taking out four objects with proton torpedoes, but make sure you start this race and complete it before taking them out. It's just a simple race, and all you have to do is basically make a full lap around the edge of the base. And as you can see, we're a good halfway around already. And feel free to use your L2 or, I guess, left trigger, depending on your system you're playing on, to go ahead and boost you, because there is definitely a vehicle fly boost, and that'll help you get through to all of the needed uh, checkpoints a lot quicker. Now, all right, we have three of the four destroyed already, and if you haven't figured it out, there are proton torpedoes scattered around on the base, as well as on certain TIE fighters. Go ahead and take all four of them out, get all four check marks, whether you live or die, and it'll take us inside, where we, uh, who knows which characters you will have selected, but as soon as we start, we need Ray and her staff, so go ahead and toss her staff up there and spin to win all the way over to this newly found area. And of course we duck into the backside and this little uh, lever comes out. We can stand on that and look at this, we're making good ground. And like I said, I'd played this level five or six times, maybe seven or eight times at this point, mainly because of that first mini kit. Now, there was an issue where I got to the end and I made a mistake, so I had to start the whole level over again. And then I came back through and got to the end, and the game froze, and it didn't let me advance, so I had to start it over again. Trust me, I was frustrated. The wifey was knowing to stay away because <laughs> I was a little hostile during these uh, plays here. But, uh, all right, basically we need to get our characters up top. If you remember in the story, we've got, uh, you know, a stormtrooper we have under mind control, and we've got Ray. In this case, we have a defaulted character, Kathleen Kennedy, who happens to be the producer of the movies, and also, I believe, the president of Lego Star, or Lego Star, of Star Wars for Disney. So, a uh, pretty big deal there, and she's helping us with some grapple pulling and whatnot, but uh, once we get up top, we're gonna go ahead and use the multi-build to the left which will go ahead and open up the force field and give us access inside. Now, as soon as we get that many kit, we're going to destroy that multi-build and create the ladder by pressing up. Once we get up onto that next platform, we're going to switch on over to a character with the force powers. And, you know, I probably should have used Vader here because I manipulate this little uh, shaft. <laughs> Giggity. But uh, as it turns out, when I get up to the top of the shaft, we have to switch on over to Vader because we need the dark side of the force power. So uh, we uh, we can tell by the red and we shake it up and all of a sudden the door drops and Booyakashow mini kit number four is officially ours. Now, 
we are ready to move on and get on through to the other side. So we need to use this grapple plug. So lots of grapples in this level. I'll be honest with you. There's a lot of, a lot of plug pulling. <laughs> and uh, here we go again. One right to another. And it's really just because we have to... Uh, we're replaying a story level designed for a stormtrooper, and the stormtroopers are pretty limited on what they can do. So, all right, we have made it across the gap, and we need to hack this first order terminal. So we switched on over to Finn, and uh, got our beep wobble beep on, and look at that, we now have a bridge. And oh, we got a nice little. That's right, this little cutscene in the back here where they're like, uh oh, oh, he's mad, run, run, <laughs> and they take off. And I don't know if you can run from Kylo Ren. He's uh, he's pretty pretty fast. Looks like they're doing all right, though. So, bridge has been created. Uh, we got to go back and get those studs, because got to get them all, got to get them all. But, all right, we have a rock wall, and the story kind of wants us to climb up and go to the right. But let's go all the way to the top and grab mini kit number five. And then, you probably remember, we have to smash and rebuild this checkerboard pathway here, and then press this giant plug-in or socket into place here. That's probably the world's largest plug-in I've ever seen. And look, the cord is small, too, and I don't know... That was a little overkill, I think. Overkill for the star kill. All right. Powered up, and we now have a new area that we can actually sneak on through. And it's going to require both characters to come through here. So I highly recommend kind of getting a little bit further and then switching characters and moving that one. You don't want one character getting too far behind. And uh, I had that happen in one of my playthroughs where the character was actually way back before the bridge that we created after that. Uh, first order terminal back there. So anyhow, uh, we are moving along here. You guys remember this. You build the right multi-build first, which opens it up and then smash and rebuild to the left. And she gets through to pull on the handle there, which opens up the door. And now we've got this little, uh, little air trampoline here, I guess. I don't know what this is, but it's going to help us uh, blow. It's, it's blowing our mind is what it's doing. And it gets us up to this next level where we can take out a couple of unsuspecting stormtroopers and some boxes which actually give us some bricks that we can build into well it looks like a strong handle but it's not and it turns out it's just some sort of uh, elevator part so uh, elevator is now ready to go and again here we are we're making sure that one character does not get left behind as it's real easy to do and once we get uh, a little bit further here we're actually um, we're gonna put old Ray on pause here so once we get to this wall running situation here go ahead and switch to Finn and or whichever character you have and, and we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have a grapple buddy here and now look at this now Ray has switched to Kathleen Kennedy and she is making it rain I really have no idea why this is happening total random glitch um, but she keeps it going look at this this goes on the entire time we switch to a character that can hack this first order terminal here and once we get it, look, look, it's just boom, 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 boom. In fact, she even helps us take out guys. There are five waves of three stormtroopers that come out. And you can see, look, she took out the whole first wave with just throwing those. And I just kind of stand there for a minute to show. And then all of a sudden it stops. And I'm like, oh, it's done. Nope. She, <laughs> she just took a little pause break there. And uh, so anyhow, the goal here is to simply take out 15 of these bad guys and once you get all 15 it actually gives us the red brick for regenerating heart so that's actually a pretty handy red brick a lot of the red bricks in these games these days are not so good they're not very helpful but <laughs> I finished it off by letting her take out the 15th guy and booyaka shall red brick is waiting for us all we have to do is go and swoop it up now watch this now I switched to her now keep watching so not only is this weird but now I'm in control of her right Watch, I'm going to switch to Ray, and look, as soon as I pull up the character... So there's seriously something going on there. She is feeling threatened by somebody or something. I don't know if this has happened to anybody else. Please drop me a comment down below if it has. Maybe take a quick picture of her just hailing those, and, and I don't know. That's, that's pretty cool, but pretty insane at the same time. So, all right, once you have that red brick, you are free to switch to Ray and run across and climb all the way up. Eventually, once we get up here, we actually need to hack this terminal to get him across but really what we need to do actually we need to shoot that target in the back to get him across this terminal here is actually what we need to get up up in a way so we're going to go ahead and switch to a different version of Finn because we already had one out and we didn't want to switch over to him over there which is accidentally what happened a minute ago but all right so we've gone ahead and shot that and now we actually have the last little post hole there that we can insert ray staff and spin to win up to the climb wall which will then take us into a cutscene and into the next area 
All right, so here we are. That was quick and easy. Now, if you remember, we started this area as Chewie and Han in the story mode, and our goal here is to place the four explosives on the pillars here. Now, we're going to do that, but we're also going to get a couple of mini kits that are scattered throughout this area, and I won't lie, one of them I totally messed up, so... Get ready for that. Uh, I won't blame it on Doug. Sometimes I like to blame things on Doug, but this is clearly not a Dougie issue. This was a Brian issue. So uh, what is what is happening here is, uh, well, right now we're taking out what's needed for the story element to go ahead and place the first of four big bombs. And uh, in regards to my mess up or flub, uh, basically what happens is there are these four specific little items that you need to smash in order to get a mini kit and I was just blind I couldn't see them now my my notes tell me right where they are but for some reason I was seeing everything but them so all right we're gonna stick to the left side first as you can see we already did the top left side which gave us nothing but one of our check marks so we're gonna move to the bottom left side where we get rushed by a bunch of stormtroopers now it may seem like a never-ending battle like they're just gonna keep on keeping on but as it turns out there are a limit uh, to the, a limit to their numbers I, I don't know where I was going with that but all right, so we eventually weed out their numbers, and now no one's attacking us. So we're going to go ahead and switch to Chewy and use the strong handles just to the, well, I guess right in the middle of the left section over here. And now we have a choice, multi-build right or left. And as it turns out, we need the right one because it's going to go ahead and pull the plate out from under this droid and allow him to drop another level down. we got to smash and rebuild to the left multi-build, and it'll do that one more time, dropping him down onto the ground. And now we have access to him, which he's going to help us with two things. In fact, he's going to drive over to the right-hand side here, and he's going to access this little point, which is going to give us the pieces needed in order to build the second bomb. But before we switch away from him, let's go over to the left-hand side. And you can see there is another little droid terminal there, but it's blocked. So we're going to switch to a character that has the uh, force abilities. <laughs> My... My, my wording is not so good today. My bad. My bad. But we're going to go ahead and lift off that top. And look at this. We can go ahead and drop inside that little terminal. And it stops that force field and allows us access to this new area on the far, far left. So most importantly over here, we're going to have to pay attention to this gold lock up on this pillar. And, of course, we've got the heavy stormtrooper that can take that out. The flame trooper should be able to do that as well. I'm assuming his flame is long enough. But uh, go ahead and drop it like it's hot. Rebuild the bricks in the mini kit number six. All right. So now we are. See, now I'm kind of looking and smashing, trying to find the uh, the parts that I was speaking of, that mini kit that I totally mess up. And it's right in the front right side of your screen here. In fact, uh, well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it from right now or not. We actually go around and do some other things and come back for it. But uh Let's see here. There it is right there, that white and silver thing. There's another one right there that I just went by. So they're on the front sides of the fence area there. And so there's two of them. And the other two are on the far right side. And I even get lost. After I figure out what they are, I get three of them. And then for some reason, I think they're up top. But anyhow, before moving to the middle or right side, go ahead and use the hound hatch to go ahead and pick up mini kit number seven. Now, of course, an Ewok would do the job as well. Anybody that can go through that little mini hatch will get that mini kit for you. And once you've got that mini kit, go ahead and move on to the right-hand side. And again, we're going to get rushed by a bunch of bad guys. And once you make it over to the far right side, another little sentry droid comes out and actually cues the alarm and brings on a whole bunch more bad guys. So he's going to be a top priority to take out once he does pop out. But we're going to go ahead and smash this box and use the multi-build option to the right here to round up mini kit number eight first. Now we're going to go ahead and smash it down and rebuild over to the left, which is going to give us some strength handles. And we're going to put Chewbacca to work. Actually, no, we're going to put old Kenton Strider to work, and we're going to leave him hanging out there because we actually need a wheel, a little crank wheel, in order to access this terminal on the left. As you can see, we don't have it. So, well, we're going to venture on over to the right. Remember I told you there was that sentry droid? Yep, here he is. He's alarming all of his buddies, and right now the priority is to take him out because... More bad guys are going to keep coming until you do. So, pew, 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 pew. All right, and like I said, make him a priority, and eventually we get him. It seems like he's invincible at first, but I eventually get him. And now we take out the remaining bad guys. Ooh, that guy, that guy took me out with a flame. Oh, no, it wasn't a flame. It was one of those flying things. All right. 
My bad, there's so much going on here, but eventually we make it all the way to the far right corner and smash some big cylinders that leave behind the wheel in need. And we can run over here and <laughs> we wheelie need it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to, it popped in. Sometimes you just can't resist those things. All right, we have spun it all the way around and now we have a grapple plug. And luckily for us, Poe Dameron has a grapple hook too. So like I said, there's lots of guys that have the grappling ability. And that gives us the needed bricks in order to build the third bomb. So only one more bomb, 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 bomb. All right, so there is another one of there. So there's two of them. So you have officially seen all four of the lights that we need to smash. But here I start to go on my little adventure. Like, I am not exactly sure. Like, the way my wording is, it says the silver lights. Rearrange the silver lights, I think is what it said. Um... Anyway, so I'm like trying anything and everything. So I apologize. There is 30 seconds or so here. And look, I run right by it. Like, I don't know why I didn't try to take that out. For some reason, I thought that was in the foreground and out of my reach, I guess. But look, I'm destroying everything else. And how lovely that would have been if I would have accidentally took out one of those things. But all right, so here we go. There's the third one right there on the left side of your screen there. Somehow I swing at everything, but it, I mean, literally, like, it seems like I'm trying to miss it, but I promise you I wasn't. So I, I did a little dissolve fade there, and uh, all of a sudden we're back on track here, and we've got two of the four, and the third one's right here. But instead of keeping on all the way to the end, I turn around and run back and go upstairs. Because I, for some reason, I, I, I read that the final mini kit is upstairs. And so, for some reason, my brain took that and thought that the final piece of this mini kit was also upstairs. So, we're going to go ahead and do some of the story bits before we get that third or fourth and final one, which is actually right down below us on the right hand side. So, basically, there are two of those on the left and two on the right. However, the ones on the left do require you to drop the force field using that sentry drone in order to get it. So,. Uh, pretty simple. Look, I'm all the way up here. I can see that it's not on this upper rail. I take out these three bad guys, and then I bail. I'm like, all right, it's got to be down here on the ground. So let's jump off, and oh, look, there it is. I land right on it, basically. So booyah kashow. Sorry about that. You know, there's always one video that I always consider kind of the doozy video, the one that doesn't quite go how I wanted it to. And I would like to think that it was uh, the Battle of Taco Donna, or Attack on a Taco... <laughs> Battle of Taco Donna, not uh, Battle at Taco Dinner, but because uh, the audio was terrible. My mic got switched, and yeah, anyways. All right, final mini kit. I'm blabbing away, sidetracked like nobody's business. We just need to use this C3PO droid terminal, match the pattern. I think it's always the same. I, I honestly do, but. Once it opens the door, we can see there's some toxic stuff. We can walk right through it, though, because the droids don't breathe. So lucky for us. Of course, you could have switched to Finn as well, but why would you do that? You already have a droid out that's capable of walking through it. So let's go ahead and build that final bomb, 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 bomb. So you can see we scanned and used the grapple plug to get across. We smashed and built the checkerboard path and pushed this box down. Last but not least, we need our silver brick breaker to go ahead and destroy this box and give us the final bricks needed to go ahead and build the bomb, 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 bomb. So go ahead and do that and wait for it. It's going to go ahead and take us into a cutscene, but guess what? We've removed that too. So final totals. Booyah Kashao, destroy Star Killer Base Free Play! Level is complete! And of course, we did get that true Jedi requirement. In fact, we blew the doors off that requirement. And we got that gold brick for that. And we got the red brick. Uh, yeah, we got the red brick. We got the red brick. And I was going to say we got it earlier, but uh, all these videos back to back to back, it get confusing. So confusing. And we got all mini kits which build up into what is that, an Imperial tie? Oh, I got it right. It's an Imperial TIE Interceptor. And we got both the regular version and the Micro Fighter version. And after a quick peep at our final totals there, look at that. We've got 10 gold. We only have, wow, we're doing pretty good. In fact, we got a lot of character tokens to get, though. I'll tell you that much. And a lot of gold bricks. But, hey, you know what this means. That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. Level 9, destroy Starkiller Base Free Play. And, uh, hey, hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. I know it took us a little while to get some of them out. But now they're all out. Hopefully you're getting all those collectibles and getting that 100%. And if you guys have any questions or comments, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. We also have HappyThumbsGaming.com, which is the home of our product and gaming reviews, as well as our trophy achievement guides. 
So if you haven't checked them out yet, go check them out. Do us a favor. It'll help us out. I know I know it doesn't do uh, cost a lot of time or bandwidth to go check out our site, and, uh, you know, it, it would certainly help us out. So um, spread the word. HTG love. As always, until next time.